Hi, this is Mr. Cabrit. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do a stress analysis of your bridge sketch. So you've already had to have made your sketch of your bridge. Next step will be uh, to do this stress analysis like I did. There's a lot of steps to this. It's not difficult, but there's a lot of steps. I've written out the instructions as well uh, if you want to look at that. So what you want to do is file new assembly. You then want to place your bridge sketch into here. So you need to make sure that you find it. Um, you should have saved it onto your H drive. Let's see. Bridge project. Find your sketch. Click open. You want to click once. Then do a right click. And then OK. Now you got to save this before continuing. For some reason, if you do not save this, you cannot continue on from here. So make sure you save this. Give it a name that makes sense. And hit save. So now that you've saved it, you can continue and select the design tab. Under the design tab, select insert frame. And now you're going to change all of these where they match that screenshot that I put onto the worksheet. So JIS, okay. A lot of this has already been um, preset. Um, to something I've already put in before. This should be JIS square steel tube. The size, let's just use six. So notice we're using square steel. That's because wood doesn't work in here. We're just doing the best we can with this. So we're kind of lying about our material. And then um, make sure you select your uh, sketch and then hit OK. Now within this create new frame hit OK again. Within this frame member naming hit OK again. Good. Alright things are looking great. Now you want to click on frame analysis. And then you want to go to create simulation. Hit OK in this simulation. Now I'm going to look at this straight on. I want to put a pin in each corner. Uh, sorry, this is the first time, well, I've done this many times. But pinned a lot of buttons to push like i said so that's why i'm struggling a little bit so i put a pin there in this this corner lower left i want to do another pin over in this corner sometimes in the past it's asked me if i want to put it there just hit okay if it asks you if that's the correct location now select force Put the force on the middle and bottom here. That's where we're going to put it in the competition. All right. And this offset, I would just leave that, leave that alone. Don't do anything with that right now. All right. Now I would select this force and then hit enter. And 50 pounds. That's good. 50 pounds is okay. Now you want to click simulate. A lot of buttons to push, right? Uh, it wasn't difficult, but a lot of bus buttons to push here. All right. Interesting that this looks different than when I did it before, huh? Interesting. All right. So the darker the blue. Oh, no, 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 no. That's because I still have another thing to do. Under results, 
you then want to go to forces. Nope, one moment. All right, sorry about that. So many buttons to push, it's hard to memorize this, guys. So yeah, underneath this results, you want to actually go to, um, oh boy, normal stresses, and then S axial, and click on that. There we go. Okay, no wonder this thing was looking different. Oh boy, there's a lot to this, guys. So tension is in blue, so the greater the, uh, the darker the blue, the greater the tension force so tension stress or tension force that is like you're pulling on something like tug of war you're stretching and pulling compression which is red it gets greater as you go this way the force increases in compression that's like crushing a pop can so in the middle here this is no force on the member and going this way it's getting crushed more and more and more force and if you go from zero going this way, this is where it's getting tension. It's pulled, stretching, and with greater and greater and greater force. So you'll notice the corners here are pretty useless. They're at this green, which is like zero force. The middle here is very dark blue. This dark blue means that there is a lot of tension. It's being pulled, pulled greatly. And notice then a lot of other green here is not as much stress. And the red here, this is where you have the greatest amount of compression. So with mine, I would probably want to get rid of these corners. These look pretty useless. And then I would might want to double up the rest of this. I might add a member going across here to strengthen this. And that's the whole point of doing this stress analysis is to determine what you can do to make this better. All right, hope this video helped. Let me know if you have any additional questions.